Hello and welcome to this Main Pro Plus tutorial where we're looking at how you can add a CPD activity in your Main Pro Plus account. Entering a CPD activity is a straightforward process and there are two simple ways to do it. The first way is to select enter a CPD activity on your dashboard. The second is to select enter a CPD activity from the quick links section. We recommend trying both and then choosing the method that makes the most sense for you. Let's go through a few examples so you can see how easy the process is. In this first example, we're entering a Main Pro Plus group learning activity, which include things like conferences. Start by choosing the category activity. The category options available for selection are assessment, group learning, and self-learning. Next, choose the activity certification type, either certified and non-certified. The activity type drop-down list will populate automatically with activities that fit the criteria based on your selections for category and certification type. This means you don't have to spend time searching through items that aren't relevant. Once that's done, choose the delivery format. There are several options available here so choose the one that best fits your activity. Live in person or live webcast apply to events that take place in real time, either in person or via your computer. These events feature a live speaker and are not recorded. Online self-study applies to learning that you can access at a time that's convenient for you and that offers you the opportunity to interact with others by exchanging emails with peers and faculty posting comments to a forum, or engaging in discussion in chat forums, for example. If you choose CFPC Certified Main Pro Plus activities, you'll see an advanced search feature that allows you to search for a specific event using multiple search fields. You can search for these activities using any combination of activity title, nine-digit session ID, city, or activity date. The main benefit of this feature is that even if you know only part of the activity title, for example, but know the city and date that the activity took place, you'll be able to find the activity with ease. Once you find the activity you want to add, click Select beside the activity title. This will pre-populate the activity information on the next page for you. If you can't find the activity using the advanced search feature, Click Don't See Your Activity and manually fill the details. For many activity submissions, you must fill out an impact assessment questionnaire in order for your credits to be processed. This questionnaire allows you to demonstrate the impact an activity has had on your practice and also gives you the opportunity to report any bias you may have perceived during an activity. In the next example, you've just participated in a practice audit with a colleague. Assessment activities allow you to either provide feedback to others or receive feedback from yourself. These qualify for certified credits in the assessment category. To add this activity, select Add a CPD activity, then Assessment, followed by Certified. Next, choose Practice Audit Quality Assurance Program from the Activity Type drop-down list and click Continue. Once that's done, take a moment to read the instructions for this specific type of form. Make sure you fully understand the form requirements before proceeding. This activity type allows you to claim six certified credits per completed form. The form offers guidance throughout, helping you answer the provided questions and best describe how the activity affected your practice. If you're unable to answer all the questions in a single setting, don't worry. Main Pro Plus allows you to save your form for completion at a later date. By clicking Send to Holding Area, your answers will be saved and you can resume work on the form at a time that's convenient for you. If you want to upload a document for an activity, such as proof of participation or a certificate of completion, you can do so in two easy steps. First, click Select. This opens a new window, which allows you to find the file you want to upload. For this activity type, documentation is optional. However, other activity types may require you to upload documents. You should always pay close attention to the requirements of your chosen activity type. 
Once you complete all the questions in the questionnaire, click Submit to save your activity and submit it for review. As you already documented the impact this activity had on your practice in the form, you do not have to submit an impact assessment questionnaire, but this varies depending on the activity type. When you submit your activity, a pop-up dialog displays. From here, you can choose to go to Activities, enter another activity, select the Linking Learning Reflection exercise to earn additional credit or return to the dashboard by clicking Close. The expanded Linking Learning exercises give you the opportunity to earn additional credits by documenting an activity, event, or question and describing the ways it has affected your practice. Return to your dashboard by clicking Close. Remember, we're always here to help. You can find a full list of Main Pro Plus resources and frequently asked questions on the Main Pro Plus section of the CFPC website. We hope you found this tutorial helpful and invite you to view our other tutorials on common Main Pro Plus tasks.